episode of the year, we Yeah, yeah. Jack Pazan! If it's not a video, it must be true. That will be recorded every Wednesday unless it's the church is canceled. And church never gets canceled, does it? Sometimes. No. Oh, hey, different. bad news, bad news this about is... WWE. Do you remember Mean Gene? Yeah, yeah, Mean Gene. Gene passed away. Machine. Yeah, Mean Gene passed away this past Thursday. I think Hulk Hogan had something to say about that. He said, I got you talking to something, brother. You're up there in the case. You're, you're, you're making this dream match right now. Hulk Hogan. Rattle Rowdy Piper, Andre the Giant, and another person I don't remember. Did you say Pied Piper? Rowdy Rowdy Piper. I'm comfortable. You know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck your seatbelt. Trent here has a question about the Bible. Go ahead, Trent. Well, fuck! If you guys know Jesus, why do you, know, why do you guys don't read the Bible? Ooh, if you know Jesus Christ, your Lord, Savior, why don't you read the Bible? That's a really good question, Trent. I think it's because they're lazy! No, but for real, why not? No, oh, you answer that question. You're the pastor. I'm the pastor, but you're the student. All right, so Trent had a valuable question. If, if somebody is a follower of Jesus Christ, why do they no, not... No, 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 Do you know what you're talking... Do you understand the words that are coming out of your mouth? Yeah! So, uh, very good question, though. People who uh, read the Bible, why don't... No, people who are Christians, why don't they read the Bible? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, as I said before, laziness is probably a huge factor. But another thing that I think discourages people from reading God's Word is that they uh, they don't understand, or they don't think they can understand it, and they have a hard time with it, and so they kind of give up on it. True. Uh, sometimes I think people don't really know where to start. I mean, it is a pretty overwhelming book. It's, it, you know, 66 books. It's long, although it's not as long as the Harry Potter series. Um... Yeah, people get kind of intimidated by it. Yeah. yeah. So here's my answer then. Which Harry Potter is still far away? You know, I realize the angle of this camera is looking right up my nose. Right up my nose. Tell you what. <clears throat> the answer then, how to read the Bible then. That, that, there's, there's your question. How do we get, get to the point of uh, actually becoming uh, or, or making Bible reading a part of our everyday Christian walk, which is very important for everybody. That's not just a thing for pastors or for really smart people. It's something for everybody. So how you do that is simply this. First of all, you start small. Okay? Pick a book. The Gospels. Genesis. Genesis. You can pick Genesis. Genesis is fine. But I, I often direct people to the book of John. The book of John is, is a shorter book. It's a gospel-centered book. It's easy to read. I point people that direction. Pick the book of John and just, just read a chapter a day. If you have trouble getting through a chapter, read a few verses a day. Read, read like a paragraph. A lot of ch books, of, uh, a lot of the translations these days are broken down into paragraphs. And read a paragraph and just kind of think about what you just read. Try to figure out what's the main topic of the par paragraph. Yeah. What is the author trying to say here? And uh, just take it in short bursts. Take take ten minutes. You know, take take it on uh, on a lunch break or if you have a different kind of break going on. If you ride the school bus, maybe that's a good time to pull out your Bible and, and read it. Um, you know, uh -huh. mornings can be hard for some people. Jumping up and getting ready and going to going to school. So maybe mornings not good for you. Maybe evenings get home from school or before a workout. <coughs> before your work before your workout. Sure. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I recommend, especially in this day and age, listen to the Bible. You can go to esv.org, and you can just listen to the Bible right there for free. You can select the book of John, chapter 1, hit play, boom, there you go. If you, can, you can put version Bible on right. your phone, an app, and you pick a version that you like. I go with ESV. I like ESV a lot, but you can go with the NIV, you can go to NASB, you can go with the, well, any, any version you really want, and uh, you pick it on the YouTube or the version app. And you can just listen to it for free. There's a play button right there at the bottom. Boom. Hit it. Listen to it. There you go. You got no excuses now. Go out there. Get in the Word! If it's on radio. It must be true. This is a different kind of radio. The radio you can watch. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a brand new story for you that's just coming out of my mouth. But Walmarts everywhere are shutting their doors. Trent has more on the topic. Yes, they are. They're shutting the doors every night at midnight. Then they open up the next day.